All right, friends, here we go. Time for request number three. I had uh, a couple of people that wanted to hear my Fortress bass. This is my custom shop Warwick Fortress Masterman. Um, the original Masterman would have just had the Twin J pickup on it, but for this custom version, I had them put a P in front of it. So it has the P Twin J setup, which is definitely unique. And then it has the three band MEC uh, active passive preamp with the push pull for the active and then the coil tap for the back pickup is also a push pull so right now I have it um, with like like a traditional PJ setup so I have this back coil on and the P on and I have it oh, it's rolled it's rolled kind of more towards the back a little bit but a little bit just a little bit past halfway towards the back okay and uh, this instrument has a a beautiful flame maple body in this antique tobacco oil satin finish and this body it's kind of an interesting story about this body I'll just say real quick um, it was an old one it was an old one from the 90s that, that, that they had there and um, it was like in a box somewhere in the back or on a shelf in the box uh, somewhere in the back and uh, Marcus Spangler found it for me and uh, they routed it for the P pickup. So it's an, it was actually, this base is four years old now. And uh, the body is from the 90s, was made in the 90s. Ebony fingerboard. And um, it has the um, ebony, wooden ebony tuning heads. And it has a, it has a hip shot detuner on there as well so yeah this bass is wonderful it's a really really beautiful instrument and then the other side of this request is that that um, people wanted to hear the Acme Low B 212 cabinets which are amazing they're absolute monster each one's got 212s in it and it's a really unique design it's got a front facing and a rear facing 12 in each cabinet they're rated for super high power they're power monsters they want a lot of power of course it's got the flat wound strings on it that I love I keep this one strung with flat wound strings always I don't know what really inspired me to do that but one day I just put a set of flats on it and I've never taken them off I just love it it's my flat wound bass just to the back pickup. And then just, just the P pickup.
Look, it really gets in focus when you use one pickup or the other. Just about any bass I've ever played, when you use both pickups at the same time, there's something that happens. There's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of like cancellation or just, just something occurs where it's a little murky so what I tend to do is I I just roll it just either I never leave her like right in the middle position where both were dead in the middle I'll slightly roll it to the front or slightly roll it to the back or extremely to the front extremely to the back but never right in the middle because it just it just it just comes in focus so much better when you um for me uh, when I roll it just a little bit past center you know on an instrument that has a blend control you know, I tend to like, these days, I tend to like an instrument that has two volumes as opposed to a blend, you know. So there you go, my uh, custom shop Warwick uh, Fortress Masterman and the LWA-1000 Class D Warwick head through the two Acme Low B212 cabinets. And um, yeah, again, one more time on these Acme Low, uh, low B cabinets, they're incredible. Uh, they, they, they can handle a lot of power. And uh, I think I'm going to take, I have two festival gigs this weekend, so I think I'm going to take both of them out. And uh, have some fun playing on the outdoor stage this weekend with the, with the big boys. All right, y'all. Peace. Thanks for the cool request.